Hi everyone, this is Lydia Rojas with More International Ministries. Matias is in India right now with his team. Martha, Eric, and Claudia are there with him. So we spent Mother's Day today with the Esparza family, the church in Chambersburg, Ministerio Internacional de la Cosecha. I say that with such an American accent. But um, it was an honor to be there this morning. They gave me these beautiful roses. I was so honored to be there and share this morning. I gave the testimony of baby Jeremiah and his coming to this world. He's sleeping. Hi, baby Jeremiah. Um, he's sleeping, so we just got home and you're not supposed to wake up a sleeping baby. It's his nap time. So I figured I would just do the video here now. I wanted to encourage mothers out there. I gave my testimony this morning and I kept saying the same thing that I realized one of the big things that God did in my life in increasing my faith was taking away my fear. I was very afraid throughout the process of what was happening. For those of you who don't know, Matias and I were in Dominican Republic for two months, a little over two months, two years ago. And after I'd been there for a week, I found out that I was pregnant with baby Jeremiah. And Matias prayed over me. And when I first became pregnant, and he received a word from the Lord that he would be called Jeremiah, that he would be a boy. And, um, you know, I was like, okay, if you say so, and it has come to pass. But two days before we came back to the States, I got really sick. I had bumps all over my body that almost looked like chicken pox. I had no idea what was going on. I thought maybe this is an allergic reaction that has to do with being pregnant or something. I didn't know. Well, um, my family suspected that it was the Zika virus and I was like, this can't be because at the time the media was blowing it up about if you're pregnant, you know, stay indoors, that you could get the Zika virus, don't go to these countries. And the whole thing was related to pregnancy. And so I was pregnant. And so I didn't know what to think. I didn't know even, um, you know, what to say to my family because they didn't know I was pregnant and I was trying to come home and surprise them. And so I surprised them, but not in a good way because I ended up testing positive for the Zika virus when I came home. It was definitely a test of faith because I was praying, Lord, if if you're really keeping this baby safe, if, if everything is going to be okay, then let this test be negative. And so uh, when it was positive, I, I just... I doubted. I'm not going to lie. I was afraid and I doubted. And I believe that the whole experience just really spoke to me about where my own faith was because my husband was completely solid throughout the whole time. He was never afraid. He never doubted. If he did, he never said it. As his wife who was with him every day, I never saw him doubt or fear or question what was happening. He said, the Lord is in control. God is in control. He actually was fasting and praying when he first saw that I was sick. And after hours of being on his knees, he got up and with just this peace and with this calmness, he said, the child is fine. The Lord spoke to me that the baby's okay. He's the one who put him there and he will be fine. And so he was assured of this. He he was so sure he stood on God's word the whole time. And the Lord showed me that I had a fear that was not of him. And that as a Christian, I was not living out my identity of being fearless, that his love casts out all fear and that any doubts, any fears that I could have from the doctor's report, from what the doctors were saying, Every single time I went to the doctor's office, they had bad news. They had something more to say. Oh, just so you know, just so you know, you know, they would come in and, and even towards the end of my pregnancy, when I was over eight months pregnant, I was having ultrasounds done every three weeks and they would measure the baby's head 
and make sure that he was growing all right and they would still say well you know we cannot really guarantee anything he could be born without eyes he could be born not being able to hear um, up till the last days they were like make sure that you call us if you miscarry and so they were just constantly speaking death over this child they were constantly um, just speaking negativity and my husband was constantly speaking life and saying in the name of Jesus this child is healthy and I really, I saw, I saw the lack of faith that I had and I really saw the opportunity to start declaring God's word and believing God's word. And I can see the difference. I can see the difference in my life that, you know, when I hear a negative word, automatically I think of the word and what does God say about this situation? And so... And that was the testimony, but um, I wanted to focus on that fear that, you know, things are going to constantly try to come up against us and scare us or, or set us back. But the word of God is sure and God wants good things for us. The word says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And we know that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. And so anything that is not of God, anything that is not good is not from God. And, and so I hold on to whatever is good. And so if you're a mother, if you um, are a mother to be, or you long to be a mother, whatever your situation, I pray that you would draw closer to God, that you would not have fear in anything. In Proverbs 31, we see that the the Proverbs 31 woman that we speak so much about, she laughs at the future. She laughs at, at things to come that she does not fear for her family. She does not fear for the, the winter that comes. Her, her children are clothed. And so I encourage you to be a woman that is fearless, that does not fear, not because of anything except for Christ, not because of anything except for your identity as a daughter of God, as a child of the King, that he did everything. He shed his blood so that you can have life and life more abundantly. And so whatever is trying to come into your life and bring fear into your life today, I pray over you, I declare over you that you will move forward in fearlessness in a boldness, in a courageousness, that you will laugh at the things to come, that nothing that comes your way, no report, no negativity, no person could take away that joy and that peace that you have that comes from God. So this is an encouraging word from Lydia Rojas and baby Jeremiah, who is working hard back there. All right. God bless you. And I pray that you are encouraged to keep the team in prayer as they're in India. We have absolutely no contact with them. They are up in tribal agency. They are in the mountains, no internet, no signal, anything like that. So we, um, we keep them in prayer and pray that God does his will. All right. God bless you and happy mother's day.